All right, you guys, it's mystery box time. And if you got the small mystery box, I'm gonna show you what was in it. So we've got all of two, four, six, eight, ten 10 stripers. They are beautiful neon colors. You're gonna love them. I'm gonna swatch them out for you so you can see what they look like. So I'm gonna start with Momster. This is a really pretty bright neon pink. I think all these colors are really gonna be great for the summertime. But this one especially, I think this is probably one of my favorites. Bright neon pink, you can see really pigmented. Now you guys, when you're working with the stripers, a little bit goes a long way. Next one, acai. Now normally I wouldn't use this as a full coverage, but I just wanna show you how the color um, shows up. Okay, Our next color is juicer. Again, another kind of a pink color, a little bit more on the fuchsia side on this one. Very rich color. So you guys, these are all gel paints, okay? They're not just a regular traditional air dry paint. Um, so they will go into the UV LED light to cure. Okay, so this one was Prayer Hands, just a really pretty kind of a teal. And then we've got Travel Agent, which is, it's still kind of a neon color, but it's just a softer blue. Just a really pretty, kind of a sky blue. Those are all swatched out. I'm gonna go ahead and put those into the light. I'm gonna cure them for a full 60 seconds. A 30 second freeze is okay to do um, if you're working in between colors, but to fully cure, I recommend 60 seconds. So our next color is side of veg. So if you're eating your veggies, we got our green for you. Again, a really pretty bright neon green, really bold. Okay, then we have caution tape. And this is that really bright, bright yellow. And you guys, honestly, all of these colors, they're so pigmented, they're really pretty. Um, you can kind of use them together, you can blend colors together. You know, if you're kind of doing ombre kind of looks, you can do that. And then we've got Hazard High, which again is that bright neon orange, kind of your traditional neon orange. All right, and last but not least, Pet Therapy, kind of a magenta. Kind of, kind of still into that pink tones, but really a little bit more magenta. All right, so again, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and cure all of these out. All right, you guys, so you saw a really pretty variety of colors. We've got a beautiful rainbow of colors. So I'm gonna show you a really fun, kind of a geometric kind of a design that you can do with these. Now I'm working over just a, a full coverage tip. You can do this over your acrylics, over your hard gels whatever technique you wanna do. I'm just gonna show you the design. You decide how you wanna use it, okay? So with whatever you're working over, I always like to put down a coat of my protein bond just to make sure everything is gonna adhere really well. Now with your stripers, you don't necessarily have to um, do a base color under them, especially these neons. They're really bright, they're really high pigmented, but for today's design, I'm actually gonna use one of our new cream clays. I'm gonna use our white. And this one is called Secret Menu. This is a really bright white. And I'm gonna just do a thin coat of this over the whole nail, just to give myself kind of a background color. Um, and that way I have something to work over. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and freeze that in the lamp for about 30 seconds. If you feel like it's too shadowy, or if you feel like you need a, a second coat, go ahead and do a second coat. I see just a little bit of shadow right up at the top. Now with my design over the top, I probably don't need to do a second coat, but just to be safe, I'm gonna do a second just to make sure I have good coverage. Again, totally up to you. And we'll go ahead and again, freeze that into place for 30 seconds. So I'm just gonna take all of my different colors and I'm gonna to start to create little triangles on the nail. It doesn't matter what color you start with. If you're trying to use all of them, I start at one end of my line and just go down the line and then I'll fill that space in. Now, depending on where you're placing your triangles, you might have to cure in between just to kind of set that where it's at. If I'm going to a different area on the nail, I don't necessarily have to cure that first color. It's gonna stay in place pretty well. It's not gonna run, it's not gonna bleed. So I can just go ahead into my next color. Okay, I think at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and cure this out because I'm starting to kind of fill in my space. 
and wherever I put my next triangle, that's probably going to start to touch up to another color and I don't want to be bleeding those colors together. So I'm going to go ahead and cure that. Just freeze it for a quick 30 seconds. Let's keep going with our next color. We've got our sky blue here. Fill in, and you guys, I'm not gonna fill in all of the space. I'm gonna leave a little bit of white, just kind of as an accent. So if you wanna keep your white, go ahead and keep it. If you wanna fill in all of your spaces, you can fill in. Now, if you wanna add other little lines, dots, anything kind of in between your triangles, go ahead and do that. Use your creativity, see what you guys like. I love these neons, I feel very 90s. Okay, so once I have all of my colors on there, I'll cure that for a quick 30 seconds, and then I'm gonna start to add just a little bit more detail to it with my black liner. So let's go ahead and cure that for 30 seconds. Okay, so this one wasn't in the small mystery box, but these you can get individually. So the black and white you can get by themselves. Now this one, I'm gonna outline all of my triangles. So I really want a nice, thin, thin line. So I'm gonna wipe out the majority of my paint on the bottle, and then I'm gonna use that little painting palette ring and just really kind of draw that out, draw out that extra paint. And now I'm gonna come in just barely touching the nail, and I'm just gonna outline my triangles. Now this is one of those things that if I had coffee today would probably not turn out so well. So if you're if you're a little shaky, this might not be the design to do today. But I am using my uh, my pinky, my ring fingers. Those are going to help to balance so that I can get that really light, tiny, skinny little line there. If you don't balance, you tend to put a little too much pressure. And what that can do is that's going to give you those thicker lines. Okay, so try to try to make sure that you're balancing and just using just barely the point of that brush. Okay, I think I've got all of my triangles outlined. I'll go ahead and cure that for a 30 second freeze. I'm going to use my Ultimate Finish Top Coat. Um, these do have a tacky surface to them. So if you do touch them, they will have that little bit of a residue to it. Um, so you can use any of your top coats and they will all adhere. Okay, I'll cure that for a full 60 seconds all the way through and I'll show you the final design. So hopefully you guys will try out the new uh, gel paint stripers and hopefully you'll have a lot of fun with your mystery box. And if you haven't gotten your mystery boxes yet, now's the time to get them. One thing I do want to show you, make sure this is in, is when you take your brush out, let me grab this one. Okay. When you take your brush out, you want to make sure that you kind of run the top part around the neck of the bottle. So that way it's going to take off any of that gel paint that's up in the stem of the brush, it's going to take that off. Because what can happen is maybe if you shook your product and then you go and wipe your brush off, what can happen is again, you're going to see a little bit of that product kind of puddling. And as you're drawing and you're doing your designs, that's going to start to kind of puddle and probably drop off and maybe mess up your design. So make sure that when you're taking your brush out, run it around the top, get that extra paint off of there, and then you can pull off the paint from the brush.